Just like your car needs fuel to make it run, your body needs fuel to make it go. Of course, your body doesn't run on gasoline. It runs on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates found in foods like grains, fruits, beans, milk products, and vegetables are by far your body's favorite source of energy. Yet providing your body with pep is not the only role carbs play. In this lesson, we will take a look at the functions of carbohydrates as well as what happens when you don't get enough carbs in your diet. After you enjoy a meal, the carbohydrates from the foods you consume are broken down into smaller units of sugar. These small units get absorbed out of your digestive tract and into your bloodstream. This blood sugar or blood glucose is transported through your bloodstream to supply energy to your muscles and other tissues. This is an important process. In fact, we could say that of the different functions of carbohydrates, supplying energy to the body is the main role. Most of your body cells use the simple carbohydrate glucose for energy, but your brain is particularly in need of glucose as an energy source. So we can add that an important function of carbs is supplying energy to the brain. If you have ever gone on a low carb diet and felt like your brain was foggy for a few days, then you experience just how important carbohydrates are to proper brain function. Another function of carbohydrates is to prevent the breakdown of proteins for energy. By consuming sufficient amounts of carbohydrates in your diet, you ensure that your body can meet its energy needs. But if your intake of carbs is too low, or you are using them up too quickly, such as during intense exercise, then your body is forced to break down proteins for energy. Protein is kind of like the backup generator when the primary energy source goes out. It's great that the body has this backup system in place, yet when proteins are used up for energy, they are no longer available to do their life-sustaining jobs, like helping with muscle contractions and maintaining muscle and other body tissues. Carbohydrates also help with fat metabolism. If the body has enough energy for its immediate needs, it stores extra energy as fat. To access this stored energy, your body needs the working energy of carbohydrates. If your diet is deficient in carbohydrates, like if you're trying a crash diet or a strict low-carb diet, then fat metabolism cannot proceed normally, and the result is the formation of ketones. Ketones are acidic molecules formed by partially broken down fats. Ketones can be used by your body for energy, and they can even spare some protein from being broken down, but if too many ketones are present in the blood, they lead to a condition called ketosis. This makes the blood acidic, which can hinder normal body processes. A person in ketosis will also have some noticeable symptoms, including headaches, a dry mouth, and an odd fruity smell to their breath. So we see that a deficiency of carbohydrates can lead to ketosis. We also see that a deficiency can lead to excessive breakdown of protein. And because a deficiency of carbohydrates means that you are not giving your body the fuel it prefers, it's easy to see that fatigue and a decreased energy level could result. In addition, you will miss out on many important nutrients that are found in carbohydrate foods. For example, eating a diet deficient in carbs would lead to a reduced fiber intake. Fiber is a component of plant foods that cannot be digested, but helps foods pass through the digestive tract. Because fiber is not digested, it travels through your system intact, acting like a scrub brush that moves food along and aids in the elimination of wastes and toxins from the body. Let's review. Your body looks at carbohydrates as fuel, so one of the main functions of carbohydrates is supplying energy to the body. Your brain is particularly in need of the simple carbohydrate glucose as an energy source, so supplying energy to the brain is another important function. We also see that having enough carbs for energy can prevent the breakdown of proteins for energy. While it's great that proteins can be used as a backup energy source, if you burn them for energy, they are no longer available to carry out their usual life-sustaining jobs. Carbohydrates also help with fat metabolism. If your diet is deficient in carbohydrates, then fat metabolism cannot proceed normally, and the result is the formation of ketones which are acidic molecules formed by partially broken down fats. If too many ketones are present in the blood, the result is ketosis, which makes the blood acidic. Ketosis comes with symptoms including headaches, a dry mouth, and a fruity smell to the breath. 
Knowing these functions of carbohydrates shows us that a deficiency of carbohydrates can lead to ketosis, excessive breakdown of protein, fatigue and a decreased energy level, as well as reduced fiber intake.